120 kilometers off the coast of Norway is one of the North Sea's largest underwater gas fields. It's called Orman Land. At 40 kilometers long and 10 kilometers wide and containing over 300 billion cubic meters of gas, it's simply massive. But it's locked in an icy tomb 3,000 meters below the sea surface. So deep and so remote that it's considered beyond the reach of man and machine. That is, until the engineers at Norsk Hydro, the Norwegian energy company, decide it's just too tempting to ignore. Because there is enough gas to supply 20% of Great Britain's gas needs for 40 years. It will take 10 years and cost $10 billion. First, they'll drill the Orman Lang gas deposit transport the gas 120 kilometers to one of Norway's largest processing plants at Nihamna. Then send the processed gas to the UK down the Langelid pipeline. A staggering 1,200 kilometers. The pipes are each 12 meters long and weigh 10 tons. Another 10 tons of concrete and metal is added to give them enough weight to stay on the ocean floor. Each of the 100,000 pipes is numbered as it comes out of the plant destined for a specific location in the line. The pipe laying itself is a monstrous job. Once the pipe has been manufactured, it is placed onto the supply ships for delivery to the pipe laying barge, the LB200. The barge is huge, longer than two football fields. It's an enormous floating steel welding factory, which has to work with military precision. The pipeline is built as a continuous tube that is dropped from the ship to the seabed. If the ship halts for too long, the strain on the pipe could snap. This is no ordinary welding operation. The process involves a special welding machine with eight heads per station. Passing through each of the welding stations in seven minutes, the pipe is then checked by an ultrasound machine. If a flaw is detected, it has to be repaired immediately before moving to the next station. After all the welding stations have linked the pipe, the final step of the operation is to seal the exposed metal. It is covered in a protective heat shrunk plastic. Without this, the steel pipe would corrode in the seawall. Now, for the most critical step of the operation, offloading the pipe to the sea floor. As the pipe enters the ocean, it begins to sag and pressure is put on the entire pipeline, which is free hanging beneath the ship. Without exactly the right tension, the pipe could snap like a matchstick. The pipe comes off the back of the barge in what's called a lazy S uh, configuration. That S of unsupported pipe has to be kept from just buckling under its own weight. So to keep it under control, you've got to keep that under a huge tension to stop it from just collapsing under its own weight. As the pipe is lowered, the barge moves forward 24 meters, not a meter more. With this well-oiled operation, the LB200 is able to lay over 100 kilometers of pipeline a month. 